Comedians like Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Jamie Kennedy and Billy Crystal have spoken out in the past. As cancel culture becomes more and more ubiquitous in show business, comedians are finding it particularly difficult to ignore. When one's profession is to take the stage to shake up and lambasta pop culture and society, the odds that a joke or train of thought will venture into cancelable territory shoots up beyond even the most outspoken of celebrities. Most recently, Dave Chappelle has found himself in the crosshairs of people calling for him to be cancelled and for Netflix to make some kind of amends for giving him a platform to espouse comments that many deemed transphobic on his latest special The Closer. However, Chappelle is far from the first comedian to speak directly about cancel culture, with some supporting it as a method of accountability to modern comedians and others likening it to McCarthyism of the 1940s. Below is a rundown of just some of the comics who have discussed the concept in the past. Jamie Kennedy, the 50-year-old actor spoke to Fox News while promoting his new film Last Call about the social media phenomenon and why there doesn't seem to be any room for forgiveness or growth. Billy Crystal, Crystal weighed in during an interview with the New York Post. It's becoming a minefield, and I get it, said the star, 73. I don't like it, I understand it. Ellipsis. I just keep doing what I'm doing and that's all you can do right now. It's an interesting time, it's an interesting time, he said. Donald Glover, saw people on here having a discussion about how tired they were of reviewing boring stuff, TV and film, Glover said in the first of three since deleted posts. Chris Rock, Chris Rock spoke out against cancel culture, noting that it's led to unfunny and boring content from comedians. Rock continued by calling the cancellation of comedians disrespectful to the audience that is at a live performance for the sole purpose of judging the Conte. Seth Rogen downplayed the impact of cancel culture by arguing that some comedians are going a bit overboard in reckoning with past jokes that have not aged well. Cat Williams, the comic, 49, appeared on the Joe Budden podcast when the hosts asked him directly for his opinions on the current state of comedy and what cancel culture means for the future of the genre. Williams took a hard stance on the issue, arguing that it's merely an invitation for talented artists to elevate their work. John Levitz, Levitz told the outlet that it's his job to satirize what's going on in society and point out the hypocrisies. He believes that cancel culture's recent prevalence has made it difficult for both him and other comedians to do their jobs as well as they used to be able to. Kevin Hart, speaking to the Sunday Times, the comedian directly addressed the growing tide of cancel culture, noting that he isn't bothered by the incident because he simply doesn't allow it to bother him. Whoopi Goldberg, the EGOT winner, 65, addressed the social phenomenon at the Edinburgh TV Festival. Per Variety, Goldberg said she feels like the truth doesn't seem to matter as much these days. Cedric the Entertainer, speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, the neighborhood executive producer said the possibility of getting cancelled over just one joke is not lost on him.